Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, I have some life at camp footage for you as I'm still camping with my nomad friends. But before we get started on that, I want to say thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers. Um, a big milestone for me. Um, I know I'm not a huge channel or anything, but I have such a passion for making these YouTube videos to not only share my journey with you, but help other people who are interested in living budget-friendly, simple, peaceful lives on the road. Um, that looks different for everybody, but I really like helping to inspire and uh, teach people more about this incredible lifestyle. So thank you for being with me. Um, it's like so cliche, all the stuff I could say, but I am really, really grateful. And I've been doing van life YouTube for not quite three years, and I continue to love it uh, more than ever, actually. So uh, very, very exciting stuff for me. So thank you again. And just to talk a little bit about the plan, I am still up in Northern Arizona with Yellow Wolf and Justin. I will be headed back to the Valley in a couple of days and then I'll be there for three days. And on Sunday, I am going to head south to Sierra Vista, Arizona, which is even uh, close, it's even, more south than Tucson. I don't know what I was looking to say just there, but <laughs> but anyways, it's like a three and a half hour drive from my home base. Um, but my nomad friends will be there. So that is going to be such a fun adventure because we are all camping on Wayne's four acre property. So it's just going to be an awesome experience. Uh, be there with my, my nomad family um, and reunite with Maddie again. It's supposed to be super windy tomorrow, so I started taking down camp, like my shower tent, and I'm going to show you some of that footage in this video. And I think that's all I have to ramble about. So give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Another quick fridge update. So um, it's still turning off at night, uh, despite everything I've done. I think it's so bizarre that it's turning off at night. Um, but Justin just tested the voltage on my Vitomin and it's absolutely perfect. It's at 12.8. So yeah, just figured we'd kind of do it for shits and giggles, but I'm really bummed out. Um, I'm still in touch with set power about it, but this weekend before I go down to Sierra Vista, I'm going to have to change out my fridge cause I'm just tired of it turning off every night. Since I showered today, I am putting away my shower and my shower tent. It's supposed to be around, uh, I think we're supposed to have 20 mile per hour winds tomorrow, so I won't need it, especially because the day after I'm heading home. So I figured this afternoon I would just put these things away so I have a little bit less to do tomorrow. I was hanging a tapestry on the top of the tent just to keep it a little bit warmer since it has been chilly and I had it staked down with four stakes but they were nice and easy to take out because the ground is soft. The wind did pick up this afternoon so I'm glad I took it down when I did and remember with these tents to always have the brand facing outward then fold it in like a taco and then like a taco again. <laughs> They're super easy to fold and they often have instructions on the bag. I do have a separate video on how to fold shower tents, uh, this one in particular because I know a lot of people struggle with it, but I have it down to a science at this point. I think it took me longer to actually bag it up and like stick all the ropes in there than it did to fold it down, but it cleared up some space on my rug and now I will have less to do tomorrow. It's actually a gorgeous day today. It is 72 with a bit of wind, but the trees really block it nicely and the clouds are kind of intermittent. So it is 
a gorgeous day and I'm taking advantage because even when, I mean, this is the last time I'm going to be up here for the year. Sierra Vista will be warmer, like low to mid 80s, which isn't my favorite weather, but I'm going to be there with my friends. So I can definitely make that compromise. When I go on my trips, I always do a conscious or unconscious sort of inventory throughout my entire van. So I'll be like, oh, I'm running low on this. I need to grab this. I need to order that. Um, because it seems like there's always something I'm having to restock, if you will. Since I have a home base, I keep things there like wipes, butane, paper towels, toilet paper. So when I'm at the house, I just grab that stuff. But since the season is really officially here where I'm going to be in the van much more frequently with shorter stints at the house, especially now that I'm together with my friends, I will put more in my van from my house. So I'll grab more toilet paper rolls. I'll grab more butane. I'll grab an extra, you know, paper towel roll. But there were some things that I needed to order on Amazon. So I did that today. That way they'll be to my house uh, by the weekend. I had to order my rinse-free bath sponges, coffee bags. Um, I ordered more smart bones for Winston. So there were some things that I had to order and they will be here on, or they will be to my house on Friday. I also like to extend my home to my very close friends like Justin, Yellow Wolf, everyone I'll be seeing in Sierra Vista um, because it's so close to Quartzsite. It's just 90 minutes away. And like in a scenario like this, I can't, they can have things shipped to my house and I can bring them to my friends. So if they need something shipped, like they could have it shipped to my house and then this weekend I'd snag it and just bring it down to them when I see them on Sunday. So I do the same thing with Maddie. You know, since I have the home base, I want my friends to be able to use that um, and have it as like a, a safe space. Um, of course, my friends are always welcome at my home, but uh, a safe space to get mail and packages. So I did a little bit of that today, kind of made a list of things I need to grab and put in my Amazon order trying local beers wherever I'm at. Absolutely. That is mainly why I do Harvest Hosts. Yeah, I was talking to Yellow Wolf about that yesterday, about Harvest Hosts, and I didn't realize it was, like, so inexpensive. I thought it was a lot more expensive. Ooh, yeah, and you qualify. I mean, I have never once had somebody come check my vehicle to make sure I've got gray water. Well, that's what... That. Yeah, so and that's... you got that in spirit anyway. You do have a potty. You're well, not going to go dump your stuff outside because you're respectful. I know. That's what I told Yellow Wolf. I was like, well, technically I'm self-contained, but I'm afraid if I spend the money, I'm going to get turned away a whole bunch of places or something. Nobody has ever checked me, ever. But you also look like you could have all that stuff in your van. I'm a little different in a minivan. You know? Well, unlike the LTVA, nobody says how big your tanks or whatever have to be. So oh, big. Okay. You capture your gray water in a bucket. That yeah. is the honest truth. Yeah. So, you're fine. Look at all this cardboard we have to burn, y'all. The wind died down a little bit, so I was like, let's have a fire. Fire, fire, fire. Oh my god, I can't take him anywhere. No, Seriously. <laughs> the sun's peeking out a little bit, but let's see what Kid's doing. Eating his smart bone. I was just telling Yellow Wolf the other day, oh yeah, it's so rare I have animals get into my trash. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> oh well. Have some uh, cleaning up to do this morning. It is windy. Look at all this pine straw on my van. Yellow Wolf's packing up. And Justin and I will kind of be packing up today since we head out tomorrow.
We've had such a nice walk this morning, huh, Bubba? Almost back to camp. Oh my gosh, we've been here for a week. It's been so tremendous. I cannot wait to get to my friends in Sierra Vista this weekend. You guys are going to see so much good content, including the tour of Yellow Wolf's van. I am beyond stoked to show you what it looks like inside. It's basically Justin's van, but a smaller version. And she has the fiberine rooftop extension that I've actually been considering for my van. So be on the lookout. Be sure to turn your notifications on if you haven't yet. And I'm going to wrap up this video. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time.